Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Spring is around. People are getting ready to plant the garden now that May's here. And uh, you see signs of everyone just coming back to life around here. Right, and it's coming back to life around the world and Washington State as well as California. We've got some YouTube celebrity gossip news and let's get to it. Let's get to work in. Here we go. Welcome back, everyone. So, Tommy, what do you have for us this week? Okay, well, Prince William and Kate Milton have just launched their own YouTube channel. Um, they put out a 25-second clip of them just uh, of highlights of them having a good time, um, a different world events they've been to over the years. Uh, so, they just recently launched that yesterday. Um, and the channel will be about them and their life and uh, might include their kids from time to time. Uh, so there's that. So, yeah, they got that going. Um, so along with the announcement clip saying, hey, here's our channel kind of trailer, they also have uh, currently um, a good amount of uh, footage from other events they've been to throughout the years um, already up on the channel. And so they'll be putting more of that stuff out there as time goes on. Um, and they're also known as Duchess and Duke of Cadenbury. Um, they dropped their other title recently. Well, Tommy, that is good. That's good that they made a YouTube channel, that they're showing their live. That's awesome that they are going to, you know, show a lot more of their life, what's, what's happening inside and in their... Um, Place and this um, journey in their life of uh, showing stuff on YouTube uh, came after uh, that the fact that they've been together for 10 years. That's right, the 10 year anniversary um, where they put out a short video of themselves on Instagram. Also, the announcement video uh, announcing what the channel's gonna be and everything also went on Instagram uh, and it showed them, like I said, outside their. Uh, uh, house in Norfolk, just having fun with their kids, all three of them. Uh, so they, uh, so this came out to the fact that they've been together for 10 years since they've been married. Great. So that's good news. And those of you that want to watch their YouTube channel, we will place it down in the section down below where the description is, where our stories are, and you can take a look at that. Moving on, Tommy, we have, uh, well, you know, Jake Paul. Jake Paul is starting a lot of stuff with Floyd Mayweather. Jake Paul and Floyd uh, Mayweather um, are scheduled to do um, several uh, boxing events with between the two of them and other people over the next couple of months. Right, but it's gotten really personal, Tommy, to where you know Jake Paul went to Floyd Mayweather, took his hat. And, you know, there was some, a lot of swearing, like, I'll kill you, dude. There was a lot of cursing. There was a lot of swearing, like, I'm going to kill you. Um, there was uh, a lot of stuff that Jake Paul is doing to make this personal. So Floyd is also going back to say that Jake is uh, not a real fighter, um, that Floyd does not take uh, Jake Paul really serious. Um, yeah, I've uh, heard a lot of this from uh, other articles and read and stuff and heard from other people talk about this. Yeah, how um, Mayweather is basically, you know, trash talking him and just basically saying, ah, nah, he's just nothing but a joke. He's not a real fighter. Where Jake Paul is trying to trash talk, but in my opinion, doesn't get the actual... Uh, purpose of trash talk. You don't go around saying I'm going to kill you with trash talk. Trash talk is you just is gen, is um, friendly uh, jabs and insults at the opponent. So 
I don't think you, I don't think Jake Paul understands the or gets the concept of trash talk, in my opinion. So we want to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below of what you think about this and what do you guys think that Jake Paul is going to win his fights or do you think it's going to be Floyd Mayweather that wins uh, the TKO and knocks Jake Paul out? I, I wouldn't be taking Jake Paul too seriously just because, you know, he really is not a very good fighter in my book and a lot of people are pushing him. Um, on Jake Paul's side to actually just go after fighters and be wanna be be a wannabe fighter. So uh, that's my opinion. So what is your opinion? He thinks he's really good because he might have had a few lucky shots in his first fight that he did. But just because you've had some lucky shots doesn't make you a good boxer. And um, the fact that a lot of these betting websites out there are putting everything against him winning. So anyone who's making bets, I've heard that happening because of the fact that no one's taking him seriously as a fighter. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of other boxers and people in the, just in the fight in the industry of, of martial, uh, mixed martial arts and boxing and that stuff, let, let him have his fun, get his shits and giggles out, and then maybe he'll go away and we could go back to take this sport seriously. Right, exactly, and you know, those of you that watch WrestleMania out there, that he showed up to WrestleMania, and you know, he got in a few bouts with a few uh, wrestlers, I mean, did you like WrestleMania this year? What are your thoughts about WrestleMania? Uh, leave a comment down in the section down below about our stories, and what can people do, Tommy? You can click that subscribe button and to subscribe to us, and then after that, you want to be notified of future videos, click that bell and make sure to click all. You can like this video, share it with all your friends, and uh, thanks for watching. Right, and this has been a top level media. Bye for now. Bye.